Hello and a warm welcome back to my studio where I'm going to show you how to create your own graphite powder to create shadows, smooth transitions and a great texture into your drawings really fast with supplies you have at home. You'll need a pencil, any pencil will do, HB, a sharpener. You'll also need a sanding pad or some sandpaper that you have lying around a shallow jar with a lid, a little sponge applicator, and a piece of computer paper. You're going to grab your sandpaper or sanding block. And then using your pencil, you're going to start grinding into the folded piece of paper. You should have sharpened your pencil, of course, beforehand. And all you're going to do is just grind that graphite into a powder onto the sheet of paper. This is just a small demo here just to show you, but a little bit goes a long way. So once you've got your powder into your sheet, all you're going to do is transfer it into a shallow jar. Your jar needs to be shallow because you need access to it. This is just a very small amount that I'm showing you in this demo. But I did make some earlier and this is two pencils worth and that will last me for a very long time. So you're just going to dip into the graphite powder and you can see how smoothly this blends into the paper with an applicator. Obviously for large areas you would use a larger sponge. You can apply the graphite powder in circular motions for an easier application and you can build up layers with it too. You can leave some of the pencil lines underneath if that's the look that you're going for and those little particles will all be smoothed away. Graphite powder is also very forgiving as in this mistake. For some reason this area wouldn't blend in so no worries. I just used my battery operated eraser to erase a tiny part of it, dipped it into the graphite powder and added a couple of layers and just blended away so that you can barely notice it. You can create some great textures on feathers, on fur, you can fill large backgrounds and you can really add some depth to your work. I hope you've learned something from this tip and I'll see you in the next tutorial.